Welcome to the AFSA Campus Tour, where every week we take you to another part of the state, talk with the district administrator about the successes and challenges in their school community during this COVID-19 pandemic. And joining us today is the Sacramento County Superintendent of Education, Dave Gordon. Dave, thank you so much for joining us today. Good morning. My pleasure, Naj. Happy to be with you. Great. Hey, let me ask you, um, because early last week, all of the districts that are here in Sacramento County had a variety of ways they were planning to reopen schools. And then by mid next week, by mid last week, um, there was one message. Everybody was starting the fall semester in distance learning. Take me inside those conversations and, and that room because you have so many unique districts. Some are very small. Others are, you know, some of the largest in the state. How do you guys all come to that singular message of we're going to do distance learning off the top? Uh, first off, let me just uh, set the uh, stage a little bit. We have 13 districts in Sacramento County. They range in size from Elk Grove is about 63,000, the fifth largest in California down to a district with 300, a district with 400. We've got rural spaces, we've got uh, big urban districts. But most of all, we have a lot of cohesiveness and great relationships with and among our superintendents in the county. They've been working together well for many years and it's all about relationships. It's all about helping people work together for the best interest of the whole group. And, and that's what we benefit greatly from, and we benefited from it in, in this instance, especially. Um, let's talk about the reopening of schools, the eventual safe reopening of schools. Is there in your mind and among the district leaders here and even statewide, a checklist? Are there certain touch points that you guys are looking for before you safely reopen schools? Or is it going to be a lot of that collaborative process between the districts and county health and state uh, health department? I think it's really gonna be both. The state will have their criteria based on which counties get off the state watch list to make it even possible to consider reopening in person. All of our districts have elaborate plans that they put together uh, anticipating that schools would reopen right away. So those plans are, are all in place. So it's a question of resetting and when the time comes, helping the districts work together to implement those plans. I would say the big imponderable in the system now is the availability of testing and the contact tracing because the testing system right now is very much backed up. Results are taking eight to 10 days to come back. And if you're trying to test staff or you're trying to uh, do tests to look at a particular instance where someone may have been exposed, it's simply not acceptable to have to wait eight to 10 days. You're gonna need 24, 48 hour turnaround uh, at, at, at worst uh, in order to be safe because otherwise, you risk having to close the whole school down a week after you opened. Um, let me ask you about districts having to make that quick pivot to distance learning. Um, Elk Grove Unified, uh, the first district to make that change. And then it, there was really a, a domino effect. Um, the deliverables were all different depending on the teacher and the class and the school. But now we're so many months away from that initial pivot from distance learning. Through your lens, are the expectations different, not just for the students and parents, but for the entire school community as we get this fall semester started? Yeah, I think there's no question that the pressure is ever so much greater now. The, the pivot was made unexpectedly. Uh, a lot of people were not well prepared. They've done the best they can to get prepared and many of them have done a good job, but realistically, they're all still learning. It's not our major way and hasn't been our major way of delivering instruction. So I know our districts, our 13 districts, are working awfully hard to beef up the capacity to do the distance learning. 
Not all of them will do it in the best possible way, but they will get better and they will work hard at getting better. Uh, and, and that's something that every single one of our districts I know is focused on. Uh, and we're focused on trying to work with them and help them from the county office perspective. But again, it, it will take time. And I think most of all, people are very, very worried about our neediest children in, in the system. The kids who may have been left out uh, because of lack of connectivity, because lack of engagement during the, uh, the last several months. And it's imperative that we figure out better ways to reach those kids, because in many ways, that's how we'll be measured as a system if we can reach our, our most underserved kids and reach them well. Dave Gordon is the Sacramento County Superintendent. Dave, thank you so much for being with us today. My pleasure. Nice, nice to be with you, Naj. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you folks so much for joining us here on the AXA Campus Tour. Remember, on Tuesdays, we take you to another part of the state, talk with a district leader about the successes and challenges that they are experiencing and their school community is experiencing during this COVID-19 pandemic that comes your way on Tuesdays here on the AXA Campus Tour.